Hi guys, welcome back to the Football Network. Today we are playing our final game of the season for Oxford United and we're facing QPR. Now we find ourselves in quite an incredible pos position. We're a game away from winning the Barclays Premier League. I can't believe what's going on to be honest. It, it It's insane. Um, I mean we came into the season hoping for hoping to get top half finish but we've just been winning games. We've, been, we've found a system that really works for us and we've just been winning game after game after game after game and it's surprising, it's really surprising, but we're here, we find ourselves in the position to win the Premier League. So let's take a look at the table then. Um, you may have just seen a little little bit there, but you can see we've already qualified for the Champions League, and it's only really Manchester United that can spoil the party today, and obviously QPR if they beat us. So um, literally a win will confirm it, a draw will also confirm it, depending on how Manchester United do. So... Let's get that sorted out. They face Charlton, actually, who are already relegated, so they haven't got much to play for, but hopefully they can make it difficult for them. But um, anyway, after the Napoli game, we played Arsenal 1-1 draw there. Pretty good result, in all fairness. Then we beat Swansea 2-0, after, and then we went on to draw 1-1 against uh, Derby County. Then we beat Charlton 4 0 away, which kind of confirmed their fate in the Premier League. Tar Fernandez, Ijinacho, and Bulacadze scoring in that one. We then went on to beat... Uh, Watford 2-0 at home. We've moved back into the Kassam Stadium, which is fantastic after that recent expansion. Sees us around 18,000, 19,000. Um, and that was fantastic to uh, welcome us back to our ground. But then we went on and beat Manchester City 2-0, which really was crucial for the title because City were above us. We managed to go there, grab a win. Ijinacho and Morrison scoring the goals in that game. Brilliant stuff. Um, and we, we beat Man City once again. Uh, and then we managed to lose 2-0 to Manchester United. Son Heung-min with the goal and Jonathan Tarr with an own goal kind of uh, let United back into this race. And you can see that they are right up there now. And uh, it's all to play for, basically. Then we had a massive win against Aston Villa 2-1. Avidad scoring uh, twice in that game to see us pick up the three points. But now we faced QPR, which is a huge test. And this is going to be a massive game for us, really. And this is the team we're going for today. Osorio is unfortunately out. So we're going for Rotola, Lenehan, Herrera, Tarr, Angelino, Lundstram, Herrera, Izawa, Morrison, Ijinacho, and Avdidaj. The bench, the bench is Rob Daniels, Brendan Galloway, Felix Cruz, Joshua Kimmich, David Fernandez, Julian Green, and Juan Gil. Obviously, Lundstram, I'm, I'm going to play him today just because... He's took us from, well, he's took us everywhere, really, in this team. And uh, now it's his chance to really uh, well, pick up the, the highest accolade in English football. But we need to get a win here against QPR. And they've always thrown a bit of a spanner in the works for us, it's fair to say, QPR. So uh, it's not going to be easy at all, but I'm pretty confident that we can um, that we can do it here today. We can clinch the title, boys. And that is what I'm telling the players, because... Well, it, we've 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 certainly excelled expectations, really. We've we've kind of overachieved a little bit, I guess. But um, I I don't know. It's been so weird this season, and we've just done so well uh, in all the games we've played. Pretty much, there hasn't been a bad game where I think, oh, it's really been awful. We've just really been so competitive, and the squad isn't that different, I guess, from last time. I obviously, brought in some more youngsters, and that's another point, actually. A really, really young team, but we have to defend here. Niang is through. Uh, can we get enough bodies around? And Niang, well, that was very close, actually, from him, but uh, it remains nil-nil uh, very early on in this game, as uh, QPR are putting on the pressure a little bit here. Rodriguez now, and uh, Lenehan gets in a good tackle. Chilwell goes inside to Vela. Into Fortunis Niang. Well worked from QPR. And you can see they're very much up for it today. And uh, we do need to be a bit careful here. Because I don't fancy losing this one. Not now. As uh, is ours. Cross is saved from trap. But so far so good. If it stays like this. And if the United game stays the same. Then uh, we find ourselves lifting the Premier League title here at Loftus Road. Here's Redmond, though. He's broken to the box. Lenham with a great tackle. Not seeing too much first-team football this year due to the fact that Osorio has been so good. But he has had his fair share, and he has done very well. But, uh, oh, that was a poor pass from Thomas Herrera there. And um, we failed to counter on that attack there from QPR. But uh, a goal here would really settle the nerves. Here's Herrera. Um... And uh, Man City will actually go top. They're in the lead. So I didn't know that. I didn't know City were going to be in it. But um, 
yes, Man City will win the league currently if it stays like this. But uh, a goal here will really help us out in that regards. But um, hopefully we can get one very soon as uh, Man United go top now. And we drop down to third place. Lenehan, come on, deliver it, son. Ihinacho, 1-0 Oxford United. Kelechi Ihinacho with his 30th goal of the season. Sees Oxford United go to the top of the Premier League table on the last day. Oxford United won, QPR nil, and we are well, we're getting ever closer to that Premier League title, boys. That yellow and blue ribbon could be streaming off the side of that Premier League trophy uh, come the 90th minute, but we must not get carried away here. Lenham with a great ball in. Icky Nacho found himself in acres of space, and um, he just nodded that one into the back of the net, but great start from us here. Exactly what we wanted, but we have to defend now. We have to defend this lead as Rodriguez is through. Ortola with a big save again. Another big save from Adrian Ortola. He's made so many of them this season, and uh, he manages to claim the ball there. Fantastic goalkeeper. I love him a lot. We got him in very cheap, and um, he's, he's been fantastic really for us here. And here's Vela into Christie. Come on, boys. We have to keep going. I have to defend Christie now. Will he deliver the ball? It's a dangerous area. Redmond. Oh, my word. Whew, Jesus, that was right on the line. Okay. Bring our line back a little bit. Dear me. That was insanely close from Redmond. Ortola with another big save. He's through again, Redmond. He's a danger man today. And I think I'm going to have to do something about this. Let's go on to our opposition instructions. And uh, let's see Nathan Redmond here. Right. Tight marking and closing down. Definitely. Let's put that on him. Because he is... Well, he's had all the chances pretty much. As um, they come forward once again. Niang now over the top. But uh, Tar with a good tackle. He's done very well since he's come in. Jonathan Tar from Manchester City. Uh, Angelino, that is a poor, poor clearance. And it's straight to Rodriguez Fortunis now. This has not been ideal from us. And Niang, oh, Tola once again. We are getting absolutely battered at the moment by QPR. And uh, I am not feeling too good about this. We're just making silly mistakes. Really silly mistakes here. And uh, oh, Tola manages to get that one. But um, no, we're not making this easy for ourselves at all here. But uh, another goal will kind of uh, settle the nerves. Here's Morrison though. He delivers a good ball. Icky Nacho! It's 2-0 Oxford United now. And surely we can kick on from here. Kelechi Icky Nacho with his second of the game. And uh, this man has been fantastic for us this season. And uh, he really has fired us towards this potential Premier League title if we keep it up. A great finish from Icky Nacho. He's been doing those all season long. And uh, he's on for a hat-trick on the last day. After Judge now finds a Hinacho again. Go on, son. Plays it back to Thomas Herrera. It's 3-0 Oxford United now. We're really turning on the style. Thomas Herrera, of course, we brought in for £6.5 million. Pounds from Velez, I believe. But I can't remember where he came from, actually. But he's Argentinian. And uh, he manages to score there. The, the wonder kid right winger has um, got another goal for himself there. And uh, Herrera now with the ball. Juan Camilo Herrera, that is. Tries to hit it forward to Wiki Nacho. Trying to force the play a little bit there. As uh, QPR come forward again. And Ortola manages to tip that over the bar. This hasn't been as plain sailing, I, I think it's fair to say. Um, but we shall see what happens in a sec. Fortunis now delivers the ball. Izawa gets it away. Now Jonathan Tarr, can he counter-attack here? He finds it oh, nearly a very good pass up to Abdijad. He couldn't quite get there. And he fouls Dawson in the process. Chilwell now, the left back, getting forward once again. Rodriguez and uh, Herrera manages to put that out for a throw in to QPR. As we're approaching half time, Oxford United are doing very well here. As Manchester United are 3 0 up against Charlton as well. Uh, don't get complacent, I'm telling the boys that. Because the job really is not done here at all. We have to concentrate. We have to be professional. We have to get this job done. Uh, as Vela comes forward here from the kickoff, and I don't think there'll be a highlight. There never is. Apart from the time against Athletic Bilbao, where we scored in the first 20 seconds. Rem remember that one. But here's Chilwell. This is a highlight. Into Vela now. Fortunis. Into Niang. <sighs> He's been fantastic this season, Niang. Um, uh, I've seen him pop up a few times on the score sheet, but uh, here's a Hinacho. 
Can he get his hat-trick in this game? He finds Thomas Herrera out wide. Can he deliver into Ichi Nacho? Shot saved is our shot saved again by Kevin Trapp, the experienced goalkeeper. With, uh, with a few saves in there. And uh, QPR managed to hold on for a little bit longer. Lenehan now with his throw. Goes back to the captain, John Lundstrand, the club captain. Goes forward to Thomas Herrera now. Can he deliver a ball of real quality? It is a good ball. It's Ihi Nacho. It's over the bar. Oh, I really want Ihi Nacho to get this hat-trick today. He's been fantastic all season. And it will be a perfect way to end it with a hat-trick. Izawa nods it down. Camilo Herrera doesn't quite get there, but uh, we have the ball anyway. Lenehan now into Herrera on this right-hand side. Goes inside to Ravel Morrison. And uh, he's got options ahead of him. He finds Herrera. Ihi Nacho tried to get there. Pass probably wasn't at the best, and here's Fortunis now coming forward. Vela with the ball out to Chilwell. Into Lalana. Vela. Fortunis. Back to Vela. Played through well. Niang saved again from Ortola, and Lenehan can clear it away this time. QPR have had four clear cut chances, but not a goal to, to uh, show for it as Abdullahi Bar commits a foul there. But um, it has been a bit shaky this game, I must say. But 3 um, 0. The scoreline says it all, really, doesn't it? So uh, let's make a couple of subs, actually, whilst we're here. I'm going to take off his hour. Not having the best of games, actually. I think that's all I'll do for now. And I might bring off uh, Ravel Morrison in a bit as well, just because of his condition, perhaps. But here's Herrera into Morrison. Advidaj, and it's 4-0 Oxford United. And we are going to win our very first Barclays Premier League title. I cannot believe what's going on. This is an incredible moment for this football club. On Football Manager 2016. And uh, Oxford United are about to lift the title very, very soon. Oh, I'm so pleased. All this hard work over the episodes. Thank you very much for supporting it, I guess. And um, more of the same, hopefully, next season. Uh, as Christie delivers. Oh, and Gray scores. It's a consolation, surely. Andre Gray with, uh, with the goal. His fourth of the season. A uh, bit of a shame not to keep a clean sheet there, but... We're 4 0 up. I think we can get away with it here. Angelino now. Lundstram looks forward up to Wiki Nacho. He manages to get there. And uh, his pass is poor, actually. And then here's Bojan. Tigalo Sigurzi. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Christie, though. That is a name we can say. Plays it into Lalana here. Lalana's shot is saved from Altola. But this has been a very, very convincing game. Well, not very convincing, sorry. But the scoreline suggests otherwise. But um, I guess that's the difference in quality for Oxford United. Here's Bojan again into Sigurci. Oh, what a goal that is. Jesus Christ. It's 4-2. Not too long left to play. Surely that's enough, right, guys? Surely? This is a fantastic goal. Let's have a look at this again. Bojan played it back and he just walloped it first time into the top left corner. What a finish. Fantastic goal from Tolga Sigurci. Uh, I'm going to take off... Um, Ravel Morrison. I'll bring on David Fernandez, I think. And uh, that'll do. Actually, I'm going to bring on Brendan Galloway for the first, first few minutes of the game as well. Just to shore up our defence. But um, five minutes away from lifting the Premier League title. Can we get another goal here? It's all the way to the back to Herrera now. Juan Camilo Herrera, the centre back up for this. is Green goes back into Herrera. Hits the post. What a. Off the crossbar, even. Sorry. What a shot that was from Herrera. And uh, maybe a counter-attack here. Andre Gray, or Tola manages to save. Two chances there for either team. Lalana delivers away from Fernandez. Here's Christie, the full-back. Hits it forward. Fernandez gets it away. Chilwell. And uh, only a few moments left, boys, before we get our hands on that big, big trophy. And here we go. West Ham are beating Arsenal 4-2 as well. My goodness. But uh, this could be it. The ball's whipped in. It's away. Surely, ref, blow the whistle. It is. Oxford United are the champions of the Barclays Premier League. What? What? I can't believe it. I don't know how to feel. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Um, champions to see the achievement there. Absolutely fantastic performance from the boys. Oxford United do the double. Oxford have done the double after they captured the English Premier Division title. Uh, and also the Capital One Cup as well. West Brom have been relegated. Oxford fans are ecstatic, rightly so as well. And the board are fantastic. Well, the 
board are very pleased. You can see that there, the past winners. We've ended Chelsea's three-year dominance with an Oxford United title. Absolutely brilliant from the boys. Man City have sacked Guardiola. They, they just sack their managers at the end of every season. Unbelievable. But we've been given 38.45 million. And uh, all the bonuses and stuff has been paid out. What a fantastic moment. We can see the club here, how much we've changed from where we started. Let's have a look at the progress here from the uh, from the bottom view. Actually, no, let's not do that. You can see here, when we took charge in 2015-16, uh, we won Skybet League 2, League 1, Championship. And, of course, it will show the Premier League very soon. But you can see our value here, 387 million. And we are a, a legend within Oxford United now. Uh, which is fantastic, fantastic stuff, really. Uh, we'll do a little summary, actually, of the team, too, of uh, how we got on this season and all the stuff. And well, We know how we got on, but we'll have a look at the squad in a bit of detail here. So um, let's take our selection info, then. And our highest-rated player this season was Kelechi Iheanacho. No surprise, he's wanted by a club here. Man City are interested in him. They want to buy him back. Well, they're going to have to offer substantial money for him. But Kelechi Iheanacho, 7.58 average rating. Absolutely fantastic from the, from the boy. Um, and you can see here some uh, well, some insane records and some very, very good stats there. Iheanacho was a highest rated player, closely followed by the new boy, Thomas Herrera, actually. A superb player. It's got to be said, Herrera. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just a fantastic player, really. Great physical stats, and uh, you can see his league form as well, overall form. 10 goals, 11 assists, 5 player of the matches, 7.5 rating overall. A real fantastic player, and he's going to be uh, probably a world-class player in, in a few years to come. Uh, you can see he's got the Wonder Kid um, uh, title there. But uh, Osorio as well, another guy that came in as a regen. Uh, just a real, real great right back. Loved using him. Um, and again... Some really nice stats all across the board, really. Um, but no, it's been some fantastic players. Izawa is another one. Um, we're probably going to say goodbye to Bertolacci. Really failed to make an impact. Really didn't impress me at all. And the new system doesn't really have a uh, doesn't really have a, a place in it, I guess. So um, Bertolacci will be moving on probably at the end of the year. Um, bit of a disappointment there. But other than that, I don't think there'll be too many people leaving. Um, Certainly, hopefully, going to try and keep most of my starting eleven because they've been fantastic. And next, really, is European dominance and and getting far in the Champions League. We know we can win the Premier League, um, and we know we can. You know, we're quite convincing at that. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of money to kind of spend as well. We've got fifty million to spend as well in uh, in the summer. So plenty of new things will be happening. Um, and we'll look to utilise that. Maybe bring in a bit more experience, because I think we've got a lot of youth in this team, a lot of very good youth that can win the Premier League. Um, but I think we need to look at bringing in some people with some Champions League experience, because that's the competition we want to win next. Um, so thank you very much for following this save, This re really. It's been fantastic. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and we're going to keep going. And hopefully next on the on the agenda is the Champions League. But uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Goodbye.